Um, I think I'm right in saying you, you're quite unusual in that you, you took up rugby quite late, didn't you? Or yeah, I used to, uh, back at home I used to play a little bit of, uh, well, a lot of basketball, a lot of volleyball uh, and a bit of golf. Um, but uh, yeah, it was just, uh, rugby was sort of a sport where most of my mates were playing. Uh, most of my brothers and you know, cousins were playing, so I was, sort of, I was sort of the odd one out. So I sort of just jumped into that category afterwards uh, later on. So yeah, no, it was, uh, it was a late start, but I, I've been, I haven't turned back since, no. so I'm enjoying it. So. How old were you when you when you first sort of started playing seriously? Uh, seriously, probably about 18. Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. but um, straight after, well, yeah, straight after college, 18, 19, started playing seriously. Because um, the sports I used to play, I tried to make it, but I wasn't really tall enough for any of the like volleyball and stuff. So. Uh, yeah, when I joined rugby, it was just it suited me to a T. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's been good. And your your brothers, do they still play rugby? Yeah, or my brothers they... and that do. Uh, my older brother, uh, they still play a lot. Um, just social social leagues, but yes. yeah, no, they still they still hard out into it, like watching it, and they've always ringing me up to see if uh, you know I'm still going well and stuff. So. Now you you're of course a Samoan international, but you you grew up in New Zealand, did yes. you? Yes, yeah, I grew up about? in uh, Porirua, back in Wellington, a uh, small little place where there's, there's a lot, majority of Porirua was probably Islanders. So uh, yeah, no, it's, uh, yeah, that's where I pretty much grew up in, in Wellington and Porirua. Do your uh, family still live there? My brothers still do. Uh, my mother and my father. My dad lives in Melbourne. My mum lives in Sydney. Uh, and my sisters live in Sydney as well, so we're a bit spread out at the moment. Yeah. And a couple of my other brothers live in uh, uh, in Samoa. So, yeah. Have yeah. They, any of them ever come over to see, watch you play over here? Or? Just my older sister. Or actually, my two sisters have come over. My younger sister and my older sister have uh, they've come to uh, watch a little bit of rugby. So, but uh, no, it's been good. It's been good so far. Now, I must ask you about your name, El Elvis. <laughs> How did that come about? Is, are you yeah, no, my, uh, my parents are big fans, huge fans, especially my dad. I mean, my dad, he still has the uh, Elvis hairstyle going with all the grease. And, uh, <laughs> you know, he doesn't, he doesn't have any other suits, but uh, he still has, you know, the uh, boots. And, and yeah, when my dad turns up to, like, social events for family, and, and he's still got the you know, unbuttoned collar, he's got the flurry collars hanging out. But, uh, yeah, no, that's my dad. Eh? He loves it. He loves Elvis. He's got all his records and cassettes. And do, you, do you like him? Yeah, I love him. I love yeah. him as well. I pretty much, like, you know, when you're younger, your dad has the cassette tapes and he's playing it in the car on your long holidays. Yeah, that was, that's my dad. Yeah. He used to play them a, a lot uh, in, in the car and, you know, we just used to sit back and tell him to try and turn it off. But, <laughs> but, but now, now I love Elvis, you know, so it's, it's something that I pretty much grew up on and, uh, you know, it's been good. Are you, um, that You've, you've played for quite a few teams over, over here, haven't you? you played for Bath, Ospreys and Sale, so, you played on the, on the Friday. Um, good, good to get a, a result there, because that sounds like a, a quite a... Yeah, a it, was, it wasn't the prettiest of games, like everyone would say. It's, uh, it was very uh, scruffy, very messy. I mean, the weather wasn't in the greatest conditions. Uh, to play in, but you know when you go away, it's it's, it's pretty much it's a lot harder to win away. Uh, but when the, the boys are happy that we came away with a scrappy game, didn't play to our full potential, and we still came out with a win. So obviously there's a lot to improve on uh, for this week. But uh, yeah, no, it was uh, it was good. It was good to get one over my uh, old friends, yeah. my mates and stuff. So you, of course, the the uh, one real uh, down point about that game was the, the injury to, to Adam Tomstone. Uh, you, did you end up playing on the wing there yeah. at the end? Yeah, yeah I mean, uh, when I first played, I started playing rugby, uh, I started at open side flanker, and then I moved to the wing straight after that, so I know uh, it's been a while since I've actually played on the wing, a very long time, and uh, yeah, I was just trying to find my feet, but uh, it was a huge loss for us uh, yeah. to lose Adam, and because uh, he's been playing so well. Him and, him and uh, Lossie, our wingers have been on, on fire this year, and uh, I mean they've scored most of our points really, besides our kicker. But um, yeah, no, it was a huge loss for us. Uh, you can't you can't replace uh, Adam Tombstone. He's uh, he's a hard man to replace, you know. Now you, you've got obviously Leinster on Friday, massive massive game. They've, they've got some decent backs themselves yeah. to say the least. Uh, 
any chance of you playing on the wing there, or, you, or you? <laughs> no, to be honest, uh, I think I've already uh, chucked in my tail for, to play on the wing because, like, I, honestly, I was just lost. Uh, you know, it's uh, I, for, for me, 13 is the only position I'll be playing. Yes, uh, yeah. If anything, 12 will be the next. Uh, but uh, yeah, winger, I think I'm, I'm going to give up on that spot. And but we do, we do have young fellas coming through. Um, like Marcus, uh, a young Marcus uh, player, and um, what's his name? Um, Tom Homer. Homer. Yeah. He, he's also coming through as well. So, I mean, guys like that can easily cover wing. They're you know young and fast enough, and uh, Homer's had a lot of experience at uh, Premiership level, and he's a good kicker as well. So, yeah. they're uh, big chance to yeah. impress, really, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. The, um, I mean, Le Leinster themselves. You, that's going to be a. a, a cracking test for you that they've much like yourselves they're, they're uh, known for their attacking rugby they're, they're also very good defensively what sort of a game do you think it will be on Friday do you think it'll be a tight game or do you think it really will be uh, I think uh, the conditions will play a big part in that I yeah. mean if it's a dry it's a dry day dry night yes. then uh, you're gonna see some amazing rugby I think yeah. some really outstanding rugby uh, but if it's a wet, if it's wet like this, uh, I think it'll be quite slow. Um, I think you know penalties will come into it, play a big part in it, uh, and you know you won't see the ball shift as much. But uh, yeah, I think it'll be tight. I think I mean they're they're the champions. They're the you know yeah. reigning champions. Uh, they're not going to be easy playing it away. I mean uh, you know they got everything going for them at the moment because they've just come off a huge win against Munster. You know a thirty pointer. Um, where we've come come off with you know a, a scruffy a scruffy outfit with a uh, sail, so I mean um, it'll be interesting, but uh, I think it'll be tight. It'll be very tight. Yeah. One final question for last year, you got this dubious honour of getting having the best hair in the <laughs> in the Premiership, the big <laughs> afro, and you, you shaved it off at the start. What what was the? It was just reason? something uh, something new, you know, something uh, <laughs> just to keep everyone guessing. I think. Um, but as you can see, I've just started growing it back. This has taken me a week to come back, yeah. so it shouldn't be too long since uh, until that. So we're going to see a re yeah the emergence of back. it. It's yeah. definitely coming back, and um, yeah, no, I'll be I'll be happy to have it back because it's a bit colder now. So <laughs> hopefully, I can uh, you know just uh, you know, keep myself warm uh, during the nights. But uh, yeah, no, it'll be, uh, it should it should be coming back soon.